but we're gonna start getting even more creative. What would happen if I wanted to draw some houses along this road, but let's say the road was much bigger. I'm going to demonstrate this by using the change properties tool to select my road, which is currently 10 foot. I'll click on okay, and I'm going to make it a 20 foot wide road. And if I was to redraw that, you'd see that my houses are all basically, they're overlaying the road, it's not good. I'm going to undo all of that. Let's figure out how we would make the houses move away from the side of the road more. To do that, you click on your, your house tool like so. I'm gonna go back to random houses because I like random houses. But what we're going to do is drill down on the street settings here. Click on this button here. And what we're going to do is we're going to increase the distance away from the center of the street, like so. Let's make that, in fact, let's, let's go really quite high. Let's make it 20. And let's now draw our houses. And you can now see that these houses are way away from the, from the edge of the road. Um, that means, of course, if we were to increase the size of our road, we'll make that, say, a 20-foot wide road, the houses will now sit alongside that nice and neatly. Let's adjust that one more time just, for, uh, just to make sure that you've got it. You can right-click, you click on Street Settings, and you can change the distance from the center of the road. Let's move that one down to, say, 15. So you can see much closer to the edge of the street. So that's really useful for mapping houses along the edges of your different roads and keeping them away from the centre of the road. Okay, so don't forget to check out the free downloads and mapping resources and extra tutorials at www.storyuk.com slash mastermapping.html and also check us out on Facebook. Cheers.